Welcome to MCN. Now, hopefully you would have seen a lot of our riding tips videos over the past few years, but one thing which is quite a new phenomenon is the fact that now more than ever, we're being watched while we're riding. Video cameras are absolutely everywhere now. And I'm sure that as I'm going through this town, I'm being tracked every inch of the way, whether it's from CCTV cameras, on lampposts and on buildings, to dash cams, van cameras, lorry cameras, and even the GoPro I'm wearing myself right now, which is similar to what a lot of riders do to record their ride. So what happens if you have an accident and you're recorded on camera? Is that gonna be a help or a hindrance? Well, let's ask an expert to find out. So this is Gavin. Hello, mate. Hi, Nivzi. Experienced rider and solicitor. Yeah, yeah, I am both. So I'm a qualified solicitor. Um, I'm a very keen biker. Um, got a ZZR 1400 at the moment um, and a BMW GSA. And you used to have a Panigale. Used to have a Panigale, yeah. But I'll be honest, as I got older, I'll tell you what, it hurts your wrists <laughs> and hurts your back. So yeah, no, I sold Panigale last year. So one of the things I was talking about in my ride is how we've been watched all the time. And there's kind of three specific ways we're being watched now, the CCTV, dash cams, and the cameras we carry ourselves. So the first question would be, how has CCTV changed our world as a rider? You know, is it good or bad? Yeah, um, I suppose we probably hear more about the bad, if I'm honest, because you're right, the world's changed. You know, if you look at sports bike riders from, you know, the 90s and noughties, um, you, you won't be getting away with, with things like that, you know, in this day and age. So um, CCTV cameras, built up areas, you know, they're everywhere. Um, a question I get asked a lot, can they be used in evidence? Mm. Well, yes, they can. You know, there's nothing in law that stops them being, being used. So, um, you know, if, if I give the example of riding through the town and, you know, you're silly enough to pop a wheelie, um, is that going to land you in hot water? Potentially, yes. Mm. Uh, of course, it's not automatic, so it will mean that an operator has seen it, you know, has saved it, has given it to the authorities, and that might then spark an investigation into you and your riding. Um, when it comes to things like speed, I think it, it's trickier, okay, because you might have a CCTV camera mounted up high. Um, well, is that the best position mm. to work out your speed over a set distance? Um, practically, I've never seen it, okay, um, in a prosecution, uh, at least. I have seen it in civil cases where uh, you know a biker's gone along a road um, and a petrol forecourt camera has captured them, you know, doing double the speed limit. So I've seen it in cases like that where um, the other side, so if a car driver's pulled out, um, they get the evidence and they say, well, actually, you're travelling double the speed limit. So you know, yes, we've pulled out, yes, we're to blame, but you must share some of the blame, um, you know, for the, for the, for, the, for your riding. Um, so. The answer is massively, you know, I've, I've seen that in civil cases. Um, I, I guess the, the takeaway word from that will be, uh, if you don't want to be embarrassed by what's on the camera, yeah. just tone the riding so down. So you are being watched more, so just keep it in your trousers a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, or, and sell your Panigale, yeah. Yeah, it might, might be sensible exactly. advice, yeah. So, uh, dash cams. Loads of vehicles are carrying those now, so is that good or bad for us? Yes, yeah. Now, actually, so this is a developing area of law, okay? So dash cams have exploded onto the scene in the last five, sort of eight years. Um, and what you'll find is that police forces have been smart. Um, a lot of forces now have got online portals, okay? So uh, if you're a car driver and you've got a dash cam and you record something which you think, actually, hang on, you know, I'm not happy with that, it doesn't take a lot of work for you to download the footage and upload it to the police, okay? So that has really impacted, you know, riding and riding behavior. Uh, if you like, there's a traffic cop in every other car, you yeah. know, in, in this day and age. Um, now, I've dealt with a number of cases where 
dash cams have um, you know have worked against the biker. Um, uh, last year, I was in court for a case where you know we tried running arguments like it, you know it, it wasn't a clear depiction of what actually happened, and we started getting experts involved with regards to um, you know analysing the footage. Um, but I say it's a developing area of law because there's limited powers of seizure. Okay, um, so unless the car driver volunteers it to the police. Um, you know, they've got limited powers under PACE, the, the, the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, um, to, to seize, you know, the, 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 the footage. Um, so you'll see this area, I think, changing over the next five or ten years. But has it impacted riders and, and how cases are dealt with and, and what we come a cropper on? Absolutely, yes. yes. And what about your take on the cameras that we put on our own bikes and our own crash helmets? Is, is that a good idea? Yeah, that's, that's a bit of both really, a bit of both, because I've dealt with a number of cases where actually having a helmet camera on has made the case, okay? Um, I'll give you an example of a, a biker. He was a young lad on, a, on an RS125, the, the proper bike, the two-stroke. Yeah. And um, he's on a roundabout, and there's a collision between him and a car. Now, the car driver says, no, you took the racing line. You know, you've zipped up with your friends and, and you've hit the side of my car. And the biker swears blind, no, I was in the correct lane. The car driver's realised she's in the wrong lane, so she just turned across me. Now, ordinarily, where you've got one version of events against another, uh, you weigh that up, but you might look at case law. So there's a, a, a really uh, well-known case, Grace and Tanner, on that point. And the general consensus is, if you've got two people on a roundabout in the wrong lane, it's going to go 50-50, okay? Um, you need to look out for each other and, and you know, and make sure that you don't uh, collide. Now, in that case, the chap had a helmet camera on and it showed clear as day that he was in the correct lane. The car driver just missed their turn. Yeah. So instead of carrying on, they've just swerved and, you know, and they've knocked him off. So um, in that case, it absolutely made the case. The flip side is, um, I mean, my other bike's a ZZR 1400. Would I want to wear a camera and ride that out on a Sunday morning? Probably not. Yeah. You know, so it, it, you know, it's a weighing up as to how do you want to ride. Um, you know, are you happy with someone looking at that footage? Mm. If the answer is no, don't really have a camera. Yeah. Um, but you know, I've dealt with cases on both sides. And what about if you have an incident that was genuinely wasn't your fault? Yeah. But a few miles down the road, you perhaps wasn't doing so. You wasn't, yeah, you yeah. Been. Well, so we get that. Is that, that going to incriminate you for that accident? N not really, not really. Because if you if you have an accident, you have to look at what happened at that moment in time. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fact that two miles earlier, you you know, you were doing double the speed limit. Well, is that relevant to when you've had the accident? You were doing thirty and a thirty. Not really. Not not at all. Yeah. So. Um, whilst it, it's not great evidence, you know, to have that, will it impact any civil claim? No, it won't. Okay. Um, I mean, if it shows you speeding at that moment in time, of course, you yeah. know, it's going to cause you trouble. Um, and that's not to say that it will defeat the case as a whole, but it might then go to contributory negligence, mm. which is, okay, what did the biker do wrong? And on what percentage do we reduce the value of this claim? Yeah, brilliant. Well, I think you've got to assume now when you're riding, you are being watched all the time um, and you've got to ride accordingly. So my advice to you would be if you want to go crazy, go on a track day. A sensible advice. <laughs>